Welcome back to our channel, VSD System Expert welcomes you on board. Do not forget to hit subscribe button and do press the bell icon, so you will get notification of my new videos. Do you know how much stress we are putting to our motor and network during starting? An AC motor has due to its construction, a starting current of approximately 3.5 to 7 times the nominal current. This causes problems for the network, the mechanics of the motor and the process. There are several starting methods to reduce the stress on the equipment and the network. Like direct online, soft starter, auto transformer, VFD etc. These starting methods reduce the stress on the network in reducing the starting torque. Soft starters control the voltage and not the frequency. Full degree of freedom is reached when voltage and frequency can be adjusted. A smooth start at full torque can only be done with a VFD. Now let's see how motor is connected to drive and network. So between network and motor, we have breaker feeding to transformer and VFD. VFD output is connected to drive. VFD converts AC supply to DC and back DC to AC to control motor voltage and frequency. We will look into each and every part of VFD in upcoming videos. What kind of drive you have seen or using, let me know in comment section. E and network. We will compare VFD and direct online in few areas. 1. Starting current and torque availability. On entire speed range. 2. Starting time. 3. Starting curve. So let's have a look into starting current and torque availability. DOL has very high starting current around 5 to 7 times S of motor nominal current, because initially there is no flux in the motor. Second point is, full torque is not available on entire speed range, available torque is depends on speed. With VFD starting current is limited to 40 to 100% of motor nominal current. This depends on motor and VFD. With VFD you can have full torque for entire speed operation. Now let's have look on motor starting time. With direct online, starting time is fixed. With VFD starting time is configurable. Speed ramp can be adjusted as per application requirement. If we look on starting curve of direct online machine, we can see that starting torque is always higher than load torque. Irrespective of load type, whether load is constant torque or square torque. If you want to know more about load types, do watch my upcoming videos. In case of VFD start, Voltage and frequency both are controlled so starting can be shifted as per our application requirement. Torque can be varied to get constant speed ramp time. With VFD, only thing we need to consider is maximum torque no need to worry about starting torque. So till now if you are wondering what magic VFD is doing to control starting current, for that we have to look into starting sequence of VFD. VFD starting is different than DOL starting, here after charging DC link, converting from AC to DC, when VFD issue start command to motor, very first thing it will do it to build flux in motor, one there is full flux 100% is available, so starting current is limited. VFD will accelerate to maximum speed. Acceleration time can be set as per application demand. Very important part here is, rotor time constant, if you know RTC of your motor you can calculate how much time your motor will take to get magnetize. This is roughly 5 times to rotor time constant. Till now we have seen some aspects of both VFD and DOL. Let's have a look on some advantage you will get for using VFD. We can divide into two categories, 1. Design stage. 2. 
operation stage. During design stage, you need not worry about starting talk of motor, protection concept, because all motor related protection covered by VFD. VFD have low starting current so, less drop in grid voltage during motor start. When you use in field, there are many advantages. 1. There is no limit for number of start in one hour, you can start n number of time because there is no high starting current. 2. You can do direction reversal without changing cables. 3. Biggest advantage is you can save energy. If you want to know more about it let me know in comment section. Last but not the least. I can help you to find out some answers, given on screen. So send me email or put your data in comments section. My email ID is available in description box. This is all about today's discussion, hope you have enjoyed video. Hit like, share and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I really need your support to publish such videos. Thanks you and see you next video.